And I had a request to help you with problem number two on the circuit training. <clears throat> and so here's the problem. Write the equation of the tangent line to f of x equals the square root of x at x equals 9 and use it to approximate the square root of 8. Now, the main idea here is that I need a tangent line. And for me to get a tangent line, I need to have the information for my point slope form. And that's the kind of the basis or the foundation for all these linear approximation problems is I need a tangent line to be able to do this approximation. So we're talking about uh, filling in blanks. I need this piece of information, I need this, and I need this. So we've got a function, and I've got an x value. So that 9, of course, is going to wind up going here, but I need a y value. So I'm going to take the function f of x equals the square root of x, and I'm going to find f of 9, and so the square root of 9 is 3. So there's my y value. So I now have y minus 3 equals some slope times x minus Nine. So to find this slope, I need to find the derivative of the function so I can find the slope of the tangent line. So if the function is the square root of x, which we know is x to the one half, then the derivative f prime of x is one half x to the negative one half, which is the same thing as one over two square roots of x. So there's my derivative. I want to find the slope when x is 9. So I need to do f prime of 9, which is 1 over 2 times the square root of 9, which we know is 3. So this is 1 sixth. So the slope is 1 sixth. And there is my um, linear pro that's the tangent line all right to this function when x is 9 now maybe where some of you got confused is where they said use it to approximate the square root of 8 well what they're saying is use it to approximate f of x when x is 8 because if i put an 8 in for x don't i have the square root of 8 Okay, so what they could have said, you know, I, I think, and this is kind of normal stuff a lot of times with AP calculus, what they could have said was use it to approximate f of 8, okay? They, they could have said it that way, all right? And so I said all that to say that this 8 right here, that is the x value that you're going to plug in to our tangent line to approximate, okay? So obviously you would need to add three to both sides. So my function, I'm gonna call it h of x that I'll use to approximate is three plus one sixth times x minus nine and then I'm going to plug this 8 in right here. So I'm going to find h of 8. Okay. And with, we know that h of 8 is a very good approximation for f of 8 based on what we learned yesterday about linear approximation. And hopefully that helps you on question number two.